properly serious book that never becomes portentous is indeed often very funny. It's characterized by a fine wit, an essential humanity, a wide range of literary reference, and the sheer beauty and intelligence of its prose. It was these qualities that made Leaving Alexandria the unanimous choice of the judges as the winner for this year's Penn Agony Prize. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm thrilled to have won uh, this award, but I must say I was a bit worried when um, uh, I saw the title of the award. It's the Penn J.R. Ackerley Literary Autobiography Award, because I've been going round, uh, as writers do when a book comes out, they spend about a year talking about writing rather than writing. I've been going around the place saying that my book is not an autobiography, um, that an autobiography is usually an exercise in self-justification, which is why most of them are written by politicians. Um, Churchill famously said that he knew history would be kind to him because he intended to write it himself. And most autobiographies go from uh, the beginning to the end, and they are an attempt to uh, celebrate or explain a life. But as I believe that a memoir is an attempt to discover a life, to find out what a life was and how it worked out the way it did. It's an exercise in self-analysis, uh, cheaper than going to a shrink, um, but just as rewarding. And in writing this book, I did discover things about myself probably too late in my life that showed that in many ways my character was incommensurate with a lot of my early longings and, and, and ideals. Um, but the one piece of knowledge we must all find in life is self-knowledge, and to die without knowing who you are seems to me to be the saddest thing that could possibly happen, even if you don't particularly like who you turn out to be. <laughs> I'm also thrilled um, that it's associated with Joe um, Ackerley, um, because I loved his writings, the, the ruthless honesty of them. I too am a dog lover, although I pick up my dog shit the way that he, in fact, didn't. He celebrated with almost transcendental ecstasy um, the many bowel movements that she dumped on in Putney Common and all over. And, and he, would, he would shoot out his neck at people um, uh, challenging him on this. Um, I'm a dog lover who has little black plastic bags in his pocket. Um, and uh, had I met Joe Ackerley, I'd have taken him for a pint, and I would have told him about the dangers of the water table by, by, by the kind of tulips defecations, um, which ruined many a posh carpet in country houses. Siegfried Sassoon was the only one who seemed really to tolerate that. Um, so I'm doubly delighted to have this book that um, this, this award that memorializes a man who loved dogs because dogs, I think, teaches something about the arrogance of, of, of male humanity, particularly male humanity. He fell in love with that dog. I'm not in love with my wee dog. It's not an Alsatian. It's a wee border terrier. Um, but I know that she does have wee, um, And she's getting old. So dogs do teach you about mortality. Their time is briefer than ours. And she can't go in the high hills with me. But I'm going to tell her when I see her tomorrow um, that a dog lover left money for a prize and a dog lover this year has won it. And I'm thrilled. Thank you so much.